for the first time ever bad morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Thursday. It's supposed to hit 95 degrees and sunny today after being in the 80s. And Walter, my rooster, died this morning. I just discovered him about three minutes ago and so this is fresh in my brain. Nobody else is sick. He didn't act sick. He came out this morning um, like normal and so that's what I'm dealing with. I was inside for about an hour getting ready. I got to go into town but uh, that can wait. So I'm going to deal with this now. Give him a look over see if I can see anything and then I will bury him. All right bad morning at Bobblehead Homestead. And I've taken care of that. Looking him over, I'm no expert, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, just obvious signs of, of injury, which I couldn't find any. And the only way an injury could have happened if, you know, one of the hens or uh, an accident, I don't know. Uh, so much can go wrong, and I've heard of, you know, chickens just having a heart attack out of nowhere. Uh, that's a possibility. None of the others are sick. I've, I'm always keeping my eye on f for, you know, any sickly behavior or signs. Uh, so this one might, might just be a mystery. Oh man. So this is still freshly happening. I've got to process it. And, uh, I was trying to get to town before the post office closes at 11.30, but that's not going to happen now. Alright, uh, well since I'm here, let me, uh, let me show you some stuff that happened yesterday. The tent is gone, which creates a better view of the mountain. And look, there's a cow walking by along the fence. But yes, yesterday it rained all day Wednesday. Uh, not heavy rain. It was pretty good accumulation though, and it was all day. There was a little break later, and so I took advantage of it to take down the tent. So that is gone. And well, that's, you know, looking around for things that have changed. You know, I took down the tent yesterday, and I don't know how... Maybe the new view is not a, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to Walter. I don't think the tent had anything to do with it. I'm just <laughs> going through the stages of grief right now. But yep, the tent is no longer up. Uh, the poles I can save and use. They're all still good. So, uh... Yeah, maybe using tarps or something, along with some boards, but uh, that might serve as a little shed or something. I don't know. A lot of stuff I can do with those uh, metal pipe structures. Little mini greenhouse. Uh, uh, you can't. I can't use those metal poles by themselves. You'd ha I'd have to have some structure to it, but I'll keep that in mind. Something to repurpose the tent poles. Oh yeah, and tons of suggestions just to bulldoze the shed. Yeah, those are windows. <laughs> that is glass. Glass breaks and, and, and breaks into a million tiny pieces. And that's not the only windows in there either. I don't know if you can see it, but there are windows right there. There's also a window um, behind those bushes and right underneath those windows is a giant pit. Uh, so, and I don't even have a ladder, but even if I did have a ladder, how am I getting to, to those windows? So, yeah, windows, windows, windows. That's something you have to consider before bulldozing unless you want to spend the rest of your life picking up broken glass. So. Not to mention the stuff inside the shed. It is full of trash. There's matrooms. There's ma matrooms. Mattresses. There's a couch. Um, there are you know boxes of stuff of who knows what. There's batteries. There's flashlights. There's 
yeah, you can't just bulldoze it and burn it. Um, so I know that's a, a very easy solution to type out in a comment. Just bulldoze it. Yeah, and then all the trash in there, where does that go when it's bulldozed? Uh, that would need to go to the dump. $30 minimum per trip to the dump. I don't have that money. So there's a lot to consider, and that's why I've got no, I'm in no hurry. Uh, to get, I've, you know, I got to worry about income, you know, <laughs> making an extra 30 bucks so I can afford a, a trip to the dump. So, yep. I'm in no hurry to get rid of that thing. If it falls down, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll have to deal with the broken glass. But there's just no easy way to get those windows out of there. And to get all the trash out also. Okay, enough of that. I'm, it's a bad morning. <laughs> I shouldn't be ranting about bulldozing a shed. But yeah, it'll probably be bulldozed at some point if it doesn't fall over. But I got to get the windows and glass and anything breakable on the inside out of there first. And see, there's a lovely zinnia with some type of small little butterfly or moss on it. Alright, four blooms at the same time. That's nice. This one has three blooms at the same time. And a bumblebee. No honeybees here, unfortunately. That one is just gorgeous. It's like it put on a second layer of leaves. That's a nice sunflower. Um, speaking of honeybees, go check out the grass-fed homestead. They have, uh, he found uh, a beekeeper to put bees on his property, but not only his, a bunch of the farms that he's visited. And he's selling the bee, the honey, it's knapweed honey from northern Idaho. Go check out the grass-fed homestead. I'll leave a link. And if you want some knapweed honey, he is selling it right now. And I've got to believe that supplies won't last long. This is just a very nice patch of cosmos. Something to enjoy on a bad day. I just picked up the lumber I need to build another chicken coop. Uh, most everything anyway. Two 2x4x8s two by by and two 2x4x10s two by by and that is what forms the base. You got, um, it, well it's basically 8 feet by 8 feet and then with a little bit sticking out in the corner there to put the wheel. So it's uh, 8 feet across and then 10 feet from front to back there and then I also so two two by four by eights two two by four by tens and two and two two by four by twelves the two by four by twelves are the bracing so going up the doorway there um, that's about six feet so you need six feet one side six feet the other side and then on the front and then uh, two of the same ones on the back and then as far as across the top, I've got scrap lumber. I can probably get away with that. And then for the door, I picked up two 2x2x8s. Two by two by and that probably won't be enough, but again, I've got scrap lumber. So you can see the door, it's uh, not, not quite six feet. And maybe this time I'll build the door a little bit more square. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. I basically got the lumber, I picked up zip ties, I picked up screws, I picked up, um, uh, uh, what do they call them, fence staples uh, to attach the, the cattle panel to the 2x4s and, alright, I don't want to make this a half an hour long video, so, yep, I got the lumber and some supplies and so now I can get started although it's like 95 degrees out here right now so probably a little bit later tonight or tomorrow if it doesn't rain napping kitties 
Yeah, they just picked out because when I got home I fed them. What are you up to, Fifi? So that's an interesting red little mushroom. Every time it rains I get some kind of new fungus popping up. But, and that one is, is this the second or third day? I think this is the third day I've looked at it and it gets a little bit bigger each day. But I'm just thinking of possible things that, you know, maybe Walter got to a mushroom before everybody else. I don't know. The other thought I had was maybe a snake bite. Um, I'm just trying to think of things that would have affected him but nobody else. Another mushroom, with all the rain we've had, you know, I'm trying to think of what's different with Walter, and I don't know, I'll probably never know. Nice, cool mushrooms. I'm going to call it a day from Bobblehead Homestead. I got a, I, you know, I might have napped for 10 or 15 minutes. Good enough. There's thunder and lightning. There's more rain coming in the next few days. So uh, you might not see a video from me for a while. I never know. Um, tomorrow, yeah, rain. Then Saturday, Saturday I hope to go into that chicken auction. Uh, but I don't know. And yeah, we're supposed to have a few days of rain. Anyway, take her easy, everybody. It's been a bummer of a day. And it'll be all right. This, you know, changes all my plans, losing my rooster. So I'm going to have to rethink everything. Ugh. Take her easy.